Hi guys. Hey guys. It's Jess. <laughs> and uh, sorry for the location we're filming in the car. It's just, we needed to get this up quick. So we just wanted to do a really quick review. Both take about a minute. Discuss what we like and don't like, possibly, about this specific product right here. This is the Pond's Luminous Finish BB Plus Cream. Sorry, I know the lighting's right a little there. off. Uh, so, I'm going to let Jess go first. Mm -hmm. right. Well, I have really oily skin, um, so I tend to only wear BB creams, maybe as like a sunscreen. I wear them more in the winter um, when I don't want to wear foundation. It's the opposite of what people do. Um, when I got this in the influencer box, I wasn't quite sure if it would actually work for me because I have really oily skin. Like, I have to use a lot of mattifiers before I can even put on foundations. Um, but I was surprised. It was actually really creamy, really smooth. It blended really well into the skin. The color match is great. If you're a medium, uh, about NC25, NC30, then medium is going to work great for you. I think that um, it's luminous but it's not like super super dewy to the point where you look like you got like sparkles everywhere like some other BB creams um and it lasts a pretty long time the first day we wore it I think it was first or second day we were out in the sun walking in like 85 degree heat and uh we were sweating and it stayed on you know everything stayed on okay Catherine <laughs> <Okay. Cast it. laughs> I have combination skin so I do have some patches where I'm a lot more oily and I'm very dry over here in my cheeks um, I ended up, she let me have the light because she got a medium and a light in the influencer box. And for me, it was a really good color match. The best BB cream color match I've had. Um, I do feel like I use a little more product than I would with other things, but it does even out my skin tone so well. Uh, so I don't actually mind that. Um, it doesn't, I don't know. I, I don't mind the smell. I like the texture of it. I've. Honestly, like, my only slight little complaint is how much I end up using of it, but I really, really enjoy this one. This is the BB cream I've been um, going to every time that I decide to use it, just because some days I just don't have the time to do anything else. We are going to buy one for our mom in light, so she can try it out, because she really likes BB cream, and we think that for aging skin, this would actually work really well. Yeah, because it is really moisturizing without feeling like heavy. heavy yeah. Whereas other BB creams I've used really feel like a really thick, thick sunscreen. This just feels so nice, light. I do airy. recommend, however, if you have larger pores that you use a primer or a pore filler, something that you would use anyways to kind of make it smooth over. Um, it's really smooth, but sometimes like I have larger pores around my nose. Um, it can accentuate it, especially when I start getting a little oily. And if you're oily, you know, you do whatever's best for you. I always set with the powder. It doesn't matter the product. So, um, that's it for us. Um, for me, personally, I like this. I like it, too. She likes it, too. So, if you're in the market for a new BB cream, yes, <laughs> uh, you should definitely check this out. I do think it's honestly worth the, the money, and it should be more hyped about, mm -hmm. because I would have bought it a long time ago. We already have a Get Ready With Me that Kat did uh, featuring the Pond's BB cream, and we're going to have a few more coming up, um, and... Uh, and that's it for us. Application video. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.